Hello Exile and welcome back to Before You Buy. Today we are taking a look at the second to last set in this series, Ravager. Cosmic Horror meets Neon Lights and what could be one of the most unusual sets the core series has to offer. What isn't covered in Neon Blue Skeletal Armor is strange and leathery, with red veins and unusual textures throughout. Despite its apparent mess of a theme, I'd say for the most part the set works. I do have a couple of issues with it though. Like Nullifier, the helm feels a little too human for what the set wants to be. Although to be fair, at least the Ravager helm looks good. But I would have loved if they would have gone the extra mile with the set to really make it feel monstrous. A Cthulhu-esque tentacle beard, for example, would have been right on brand and would have looked amazing. That feeling of not being monstrous enough goes right into my next issue with the set, the wings. They have the right vibe, but they're static and rubbery, and they have such a traditional configuration and shape that I feel like it takes away from what the set really set out to be. A hallmark of creatures from Cosmic Horror is their ability to like shift forms and generally take on a shape beyond what the human mind can bear. And yet, from that rich history of design, we get the most inspired pair of ramen noodle wings imaginable. What's crazy to me is that the potential of that concept is on full display in the set's portal apparition, which, even for something in Path of Exile, is terrifying. So to see that design exercise, and then you turn around and see the theme's own set struggle with it, it's just kind of, you know, kind of meh. Now moving on, the included weapon has a good mix of forms, and while Staff and Quiver miss out again, we do get nice, unique wand and claw skins, they're not just bundled with a dagger. Bow users also might appreciate a nice, flashy skin that's not absolutely massive. The weapon effect, however, does not get the same love. While the splashing particles are cool as they move up and down the, the handle or the blade or whatever, the texture that is applied to the weapon itself looks stretched or even a little bit low resolution a lot of the time. Definitely not what I would expect from an effect at this tier. And really, I don't, I don't see myself choosing this over the myriad of other teal or blue effects that we have that are better. Which brings me to the last section of this video, how does this set combo? Ravager has a few counterparts in the store with which it combos best, namely Misery, Myrmidon, and Despair. And I don't think that's a surprise to anyone, for all they all share a very similar color palette ac across the various themes. Misery is most notably the best match, as its wings are a great substitute for Ravager's own wings. One of the most interesting combos that I think this set has relies on its interaction with the gold character effect. While the underlying texture of the set is golded, as you'd expect, the armor keeps its semi-transparent blue tone, the result being one of the most visually striking uses of that gold character effect that I've come up with so far. Note that the Ravager wings don't keep this interaction, so again, Misery or Despair is better in its place. You may be a bit tired of all the same Misery, Despair, Misery, Despair, Misery, you know, combos we keep seeing, and honestly, as much as I love those sets, they are incredible sets, I too am also tired of it just a little bit. So. I tried my best to step outside of that theme for our last look, instead relying on the red veins throughout the armor to dictate what I used. I decided to go with a gore, demonic look to see if I could actually get it to match, and honestly, I think it's pretty slick. But I leave it up to you if you actually like this or not. What's, what's your take on it? So, all things considered, what is my final verdict on Ravager? Well, I don't recommend it. Shocking, I know. Let me explain myself. Yes, I like the armor. Yes, it works with things I already have in the store, but it suffers since its main counterparts that you would use it with are also its main competition. And if you had to choose one light blue set, are you really going to go with a tier 4 supporter pack when Misery is a better set and is available in the store for a fifth of the price all the time? And there's the thing, and then there's the things that drag the set down, like the weapon effect looking blurry or low resolution or stretch or whatever you want to call it, or the wings. Now, I thought to myself, maybe I'm just being a little too critical of the wings. Maybe they're not actually that bad. So I pulled my discord, the fashionistas that they are, and then I'll just let you read through their reactions to this. And uh, yeah, that'll close out this review. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, tomorrow's it. Tomorrow is Incinerator. That'll be the last one. So I really hope you guys look forward to that video. I am for sure looking forward to it. It'll be a fun time, and uh, we'll see you then.